Coming up, season five of High School Quiz Show, it's Arlington High School. <laughs> Taking on Dartmouth High School. <laughs> That's next on High School Quiz Show. You can file a claim. You can pay your bill. Safety's mobile app helps you manage life storms for your auto, home, and business. Ask an independent agent about safety insurance. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm your host, Billy Costa. Back in November, 96 public high school teams throughout Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 spots in this year's competition. The goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion and take home this very impressive trophy. Our quiz show champions will move on to compete in the second annual Governor's Cup Challenge hosted this year by New Hampshire public television. And uh, before we meet the teams, it's time to grab your mobile phones, your tablets, your laptops, so you can play along with us live right now. And uh, your game, by the way, is multiple choice, so there's really very little to lose at home. Log in right now at highschoolquizshow.org slash play live. And uh, let's get right to it and meet the team from Arlington High School. We have Dan, Jack, Sam, and Parker. Alternates on the sidelines, Andrew, and then coach Ed Foley. <laughs> and now to the uh, Dartmouth High School team, we've got Sam, Rebu, Austin, and <laughs> Jacob. Alternates, Christian and Nick, and the coaches, Donald York, and Gary Lauer. The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points. And uh, this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So if you guys are ready, here we go. Who wrote the 1814 poem, Defense of Fort McHenry, which became the lyrics to the Star Spangled Banner? Dan. Key. Francis Scott Key is correct. Uh, what common piece of laboratory equipment that produces a single open gas flame is named after the German chemist who introduced it in 1855? Jacob. Bunsen burner. Correct. Uh, what country that instituted a one-child policy in 1979 now has the world's most imbalanced gender ratio with boys far outnumbering girls? Austin? China. That is correct. Also known as Danius plexippus, uh, what type of milkweed butterfly is known for its orange and black wings and its long annual migrations? Yes, Dan. Monarch. That is correct. Uh, what comedic legend who once played psychologist Bob Hartley won his first Emmy Award in 2013 for guest starring on The Big Bang Theory? Sam. Bob Newhart. Correct. What word that begins with the letter Q refers to the minimum number of people needed to conduct official business at a meeting? Dan. Quota. No, Dartmouth. Quorum. Yeah. That is correct. Quorum. Uh, I shall go to Korea. What U.S. presidential candidate said this in 1952 as part of his campaign to help end the war in Korea? Yes, Rebu. Eisenhower. Dwight D. Eisenhower. Yes, the English language changed dramatically after French-speaking Normans invaded England. In what year? Sam? 1066. Yes. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. This is the opening line of what Jane Austen masterpiece? Parker? Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice. Correct. Now, your next question is going to be up on the video screens in front of you. A very special guest, so take a look. Hi, I'm Linda McJanet. 
I teach Shakespeare and Renaissance drama at Bentley University. Here's my question. In Shakespeare's play, The Merchant of Venice, Portia states that the quality of mercy is not strained. She says this to what moneylender? Jacob. Oh, I forgot. Oh, time is up. Yes, Arlington Jack. Shylock. Shylock is correct. You get the points. We move on. I will not accept if nominated and will not serve if elected. In 1884, what Civil War hero who marched through Georgia said this in refusing the Republican nomination for president? Dan. Sherman. General William T. Sherman. And what is the only U.S. constitutional amendment to have been repealed? Uh, Sam. The 18th. That's correct. Uh, what man-made structure that was completed in 1869 greatly reduced the sailing time between England and India? Yes, Dan. Uh, canal. Not good enough. Suez, uh, Jacob. Ca Suez Canal? That is correct. Which of the following planets has the smallest diameter? A, Venus, B, Earth, C, Mars. Yes, Sam. Uh, Venus? No, Dartmouth, take a shot. Mars. Okay, good, Jacob, Mars. In uh, February 2013, what ancient sport was dropped by the International Olympic Committee but reinstated six months later in response to worldwide criticism? Yes, Sam. Wrestling. Wrestling is right. Uh, the human retina contains about 5 million of what photoreceptors that provide the eye's color sensitivity? Jacob. Rods. No, Arlington. Parker. Cones. Cones is correct. In 1517, in Wittenberg, Germany, who nailed to the door of All Saints Church his 95 theses that would begin the Protestant Reformation? Yes, Dan. Martin Luther. Yes. Only three countries in the world have not adopted the metric system. Uh, the United States, Liberia, and what country, also known as Myanmar? Yes, Sam. Burma. Burma is right. Eight of the ten highest peaks in the world lie in what small nation wedged between China and India? Yes, Dan. Nepal. Yes. Which of the following events? happened first? A, the launch of Sputnik 1, B, the end of the Vietnam War, C, the Cuban Missile Crisis. Uh, Dan? Cuban Missile Crisis? No, Dartmouth? Yes, Sam? Sputnik. That is correct, the launch of Sputnik 1. In a story from Greek myth, Daphne was turned into what shrub that's associated with triumph? Yes, Dan? Laurel. Laurel is right. Uh, the 1941 hit Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy uh, was by what trio that was the most popular female vocal group of the first half of the 20th century? Sam. The Andrews Sisters? Yes. In physics, a decrease in wavelength is called a blue shift. The opposite effect, an increase in wavelength, is called what? Yes, Sam. Red shift. Correct. Math question. What is the sign of 90 degrees? Reboot. One. Correct. That was intense. <laughs> what boy band put together by Simon Cowell topped the charts with their 2011 debut album, Up All Night? One Direction. One Direction is right. In uh, 1803, what Chief Justice wrote that the Supreme Court is the final interpreter of the Constitution, establishing the precedent for judicial review? Yes, Dan. John. Marshall. Correct. Uh, what type of simple circuit connecting two bulbs allows one bulb to remain lit if the other one burns out? Yes, Sam? Transistor? No, Arlington. Sam? Resistor. Parallel circuit is the answer there. <laughs> Good try, Sam. Uh, what poetry collection did William Blake release in 1794 as a follow-up to Songs of Innocence? Dan? Songs of Experience. Yes. What 2002 film? Oh, there's the bell that ends round one. The score, Arlington High, 150 points. Dartmouth High, 120 points. Let's hear it for both teams. This is very close. Okay, so the head-to-head -head round is uh, up next. But first, we like to relax uh, for a few minutes and get to know the players. 
And in this episode, I'm actually afraid this time. These are some crazy contestants. Uh, but I've got a question in my hand, and each of you will answer it in your own way. If you were given the choice of writing for Vanity Fair, The New York Times, or Sports Illustrated, which would you choose and why? And we'll start with you, Dan. Uh, I'd write for Sports Illustrated because I'd like to write about my hero, uh, Jeremy Lin. Perhaps the greatest hero of this generation or any generation. Okay. All right. Jack? I would write for the New York Times because the front page is one of my favorite movies and Hildy is an re investigative reporter in it. Mm -hmm. And I'd love to emulate him. And I'd like to, while there, head up an investigative report into why Jeremy Lin left the Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> Sam? I know. Don't tell me. There's a connection to what they just said. I can't comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably work for Vanity Fair. Um, I'm really into fashion. I, as you can see, I dressed everyone today. I'm sure you did. And I, I'd like to uh, cover the various uh, jersey changes and haircuts of Jeremy Lin. <laughs> Parker. You know, I'd really like to write for Vanity Fair as well. Not because of Jeremy Lin, but because I'd like to spend some time with my best friend, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dartmouth, over to you we go. Loving the bow ties, by the way. Sam. I would write for the New York Times because I really don't like the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> okay, good enough. Reboot. I work for the New York Times because it's an opportunity to meet people from all around the world, travel the world, working for them. Okay, and Austin? I definitely write for Sports Illustrated because I'm a three-sport athlete and I'm, I'm pretty passionate about sports. All right, and Jacob? Uh, I'd also write for the Sports Illustrated because, you know, I've been a, I'm a real big fan of uh, Rick Riley's um, satirical sports articles, and I'd really like to emulate them when I grow up. All right, it all works for me. Now listen, the head-to-head -head round is intense. The way it works, each team will choose a player to come forward and go head-to-head. -head. Arlington, who's it going to be? <laughs> Big Dan. Uh, Dartmouth, who's it going to be? Sam. Sam. Dan and Sam, get ready to come down and go head-to-head. -head. All right? All right. <laughs> head round and I remind everybody in this round guys you get 10 points for correct answers incorrect answers you can lose 10 points and by the way you can buzz in as soon as you know the answer okay if you're ready we'll set the clock at 90 seconds and here we go what Shakespeare title character is obsessed with his mother's sudden remarriage to his uncle? Yes. Hamlet. Yes, in 1857, James Pierpont copyrighted what song under its original title, One Horse Open Sleigh? Jingle Bells. That is right. In 2013, who defeated Republican Gabriel Gomez to become the junior senator from Massachusetts? Edward Markey. Yes. Ultraviolet light helps our bodies make one vitamin that is essential for calcium metabolism. Yep. Vitamin D. Correct. An onagon is a regular polygon with how many sides? Nine. Yes. Zagreb is the capital city of what country? Croatia. Yes. Uh, what Athenian philosopher was Plato's teacher? Socrates. Yes. Uh, what two-word phrase meaning wise man refers to the species of all modern humans? Homo sapiens. Correct. Uh, what pure blood wizard is Harry Potter's godfather? Sirius Black. Yes. Uh, although no two snowflakes are exactly alike, all snowflake crystals have how many sides? Yeah. Eight. No, six. Uh, the 1947 masterpiece Full Fathom Five is an abstract drip painting by... Yes. Jackson Pollock. Correct. In 1946, what communist revolutionary leader became prime minister of Vietnam? Yes. DM. No, Ho Chi Minh. Uh, oh! Wow, that went so fast. End of round two, end of the lightning round. The score right now, Arlington High School, 190 points. This is close. Dartmouth High School, 160 points. Oh, boy, it's close. How about it, everybody? For the contestants here in the studio and for everybody playing at home, it's the category round. And uh, we've got six categories. Horse sense, elementary, my dear. Land ho, the French connection, 
Whistle While You Work, and Gridiron Gang. Now, each category has five questions with increasing point value, so a lot at stake in this round. And by the way, contestants, you can confer with your teammates in this round. Once you do buzz in, though, you're no longer able to confer. We're going to need your answer. Uh, now, Dartmouth, you've got a tiny bit of ground to make up, so we're going to let you choose uh, the first category. And uh, what's it going to be? We'll take Gridiron Gang. Gridiron Gang, here we go. Questions about American football. For 10 points in February 2013, what quarterback agreed to a three-year, $27 million contract extension with the New England Patriots? Sam? Tom Brady. That's correct. So you've got the board now, Arlington. Category, please. Uh, same category. We'll stay there for 15 points. According to the NFL rule book, uh, the offense gets how many downs or chances to advance 10 yards? Parker. Four. Four. Four is right. You've still got the board, Arlington category. Same category. We'll stay there for 20 points. Uh, the Broncos, Wes Welker, and the Cardinals, uh, Larry Fitzgerald, play what position whose principal role is to catch passes from the quarterback? Yes, reboot. Wide receiver. Wide receiver or receiver or wide out is correct. And Dartmouth, you get the board category. We'll stay with gridiron game. 25 Points. Uh, what five letter German word for lightning refers to the defensive strategy of sending additional players to tackle the quarterback before he can throw a pass? Austin. Blitz. Blitz is correct. You've still got the board, Dartmouth. Good on you. Why not go for the 30 points, right? Uh, what winner of the third season of Dancing with the Stars is the NFL's all time leading rusher? And Austin. Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith is correct. You'll need a new category, Dartmouth. What's it going to be? Whistle while you work. Whistle while you work. Uh, questions about whistleblowers for 10 points. Uh, Daniel Ellsberg is best known for authoring and leaking uh, the Pentagon Papers, a classified study about the U.S. role in what war? Austin. The Iraq War. No, Arlington. Sam. The Vietnam War. That is correct. So you get the board Arlington category. Same thing. Whistle while you work for 15. Who wrote actor Benedict Cumberbatch a 10 page email begging him not to participate in the WikiLeaks film The Fifth Estate? Jack? Um, Julian Assange. Correct. Arlington, you'll stay with the board category? Same thing. Okay, for 20 points. In 2013, Russia granted asylum uh, to what tech specialist who leaked top secret documents regarding NSA domestic surveillance practices? Jacob? Uh, Edward Snowden. That is correct. And Dartmouth, you get the board back. What's the category? Might as well stay with the whistle while you work. And for 25 points in August 2013, what U.S. Army soldier was sentenced to 35 years for releasing the largest set of classified U.S. documents ever leaked to the public? Sam. Manning. Bradley Manning is correct. You've got the board Arlington category. Same thing. 30 points in 2007. What member of Dick Cheney's staff was convicted of perjury in connection with an investigation into the leak of covert CIA agent Valerie Plame? Scooter Libby. All right, so Arlington, you've still got the board category. French Connection. The French Connection. Uh, questions about French loan words for 10 points. What term for a dead-end street means bottom of the bag in French? Uh, Dan? Call the sack. That's correct. Arlington, category? We'll stay with the French connection. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the French connection for 15 points, meaning let people do as they choose. So what economic doctrine allows businesses to operate with very little interference from the government? Yes, Sam? Laissez-faire. That is correct. You've still got the board Arlington category. Same thing. For 20 points. What two-word phrase that means false step refers to a social blunder or indiscretion? <phone rings> Sam? Faux pas. Yes, you've still got the board category. Same thing, please. Okay, and this time for 25 points. Uh, meaning film truthfulness. What two-word phrase describes the documentary filmmaking technique of using shaky handheld cameras? Jacob. Film Noir. No. Arlington, you want to try? Cinema Verite is the correct answer. Arlington, you've still got the board category. Same thing. We're going for 30 points. Uh, meaning stroke of mercy. What three-word term refers to a decisive 
finishing blow to end someone's suffering? Yes, Dan. Coup de gras. That is correct. And you've still got the board, Arlington. Category? We'll take Land Ho. Land Ho. Uh, questions about explorers, uh, and for 10 points. Uh, in the early 19th century, British naval commander Sir James Clark Ross discovered the Ross Sea and the Victoria land region of what continent? Dan? Antarctica. That is correct. Category? Same category. For 15 points, what Viking explorer and founder of Greenland was the father of uh, Leif Erikson? <phone rings> Sam? Eric the Red. That is correct. Category Arlington? Same thing, please. Uh, 20 points. In 1673, Father Jacques Marquette became the first European to chart the Mississippi River. He was accompanied by what French cartographer? <laughs> Louis Joliet. And uh, Arlington, you've still got it. Land ho, please. For 25 points, uh, when Sir Edmund Hillary reached the summit of Mount Everest in 1953, he was accompanied by... What Sherpa guide? Tenzing Norgay, or Sherpa Norgay, and you've still got the board, Arlington. Same thing, please. 30 points. What Norwegian explorer was the first to sail through the Northwest Passage and the first to reach the South Pole? Dan? Amundsen? Yes, that's correct. Uh, Roald Amundsen. And uh, you'll need a new category, Arlington, but you do have the board. We'll take horse sense. Horse sense. Questions about horses in literature. For 10 points, Boxer is a gullible workhorse who serves as an allegory for the Russian working class in what novel by George Orwell? Yes, Sam. Animal Farm. Correct. Category? Same thing. 15 points. Uh, what unconventional red-headed girl lives with her horse Alfonso at Villa Villa Coola in a series of books by Astrid Lindgren? Jack? Pippi Longstocking? That is correct. Uh, we're going to stay here with the category? You're very yeah, proud. Yeah. Okay, for 20 points. Uh, a Handsome Black Horse is the narrator of what? An Sewell book that's been called The Uncle Tom's Cabin of the Horse. Yes, Jacob. Black Beauty? That is correct. And Dartmouth, you've got the board. Category? We'll stay with horse We'll sense. stay there for 25 points. A boy named Alec Ramsey and an untamed horse are stranded on a desert island after their ship sinks in what 1941 novel by Walter Farley? Uh, the Black Stallion. Uh, the answer there, Dartmouth. Oh, that's the bell that ends the category round as we take a look at the score right now. Arlington High School, 420 points. Dartmouth High School, 240 points. Let's make some noise for both teams. We've still got ourselves a competition. We are heading into the final 90 seconds of game play. We call it the lightning round. Now, uh, guys, you get 20 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers, though, will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. If you guys are all ready, we'll play the game. By some estimates, there are more bikes than people in what capital city of the Netherlands? Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yes. Uh, Bertha Mason is the archetypal madwoman in the attic in what novel by Charlotte Bronte? Yes, Sam. Jane Eyre. Yes. What former golden girl holds the Guinness World Record for longest TV career for a female? Yes, Sam. Betty White. Yes. The invasion of Gaul in 451 AD was led by what king of the Huns? Yes. Attila the Hun. Attila. In July of 2013, George Zimmerman was acquitted in the shooting death of Trayvon Martin in what U.S. state, Sam? Florida. Yes, diarist Anne Frank often wrote about being in the shadow of what older sister? Margo. Uh, the 1863 Battle of Gettysburg lasted how many days? Sam? Three. Three is right. Porpoises in Wales belong to what order of mammals? Yes, Austin. Uh, sea mammals? No, cetacean. Uh, what band was co-founded in 1965 by keyboardist Ray Manzarek the and... Door. Yes. The Doors. Yes. Uh, the month of January, named after what two-faced Roman god, Sam? Janus. Yes. What river separates Vermont from New Hampshire? Sam? White. No, Connecticut River. Uh, folk figure Paul Bunyan is a giant lumberjack accompanied by a blue ox named... Babe. Yes. Uh, built by scientists from 16 nations. What is the largest structure ever assembled in... Yes, the Hadron Collider. 
no, the International Space Station would have been the answer there. Uh, but that is the buzzer ending our game and the winner today, Arlington High School. 480 points. Dartmouth High this week, 300 points. Congratulations to both teams for a great game. Arlington High School now will move on to the quarterfinals. So definitely stay tuned for that. But that's it for now. We'll see you all next week right here on High School Quiz Show. Play along with High School Quiz Show every week at highschoolquizshow.org slash play live. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Life is full of surprises. Some good, some not so good. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance's enhanced coverage for auto, home, and business so you don't get caught by surprise. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms. Bank of America is proud to support High School Quiz Show and committed to education initiatives throughout Massachusetts, including citizen schools, Teach for America, and local boys and girls clubs. For more information, you can visit bankofamerica.com slash Boston. Production of WGBH.